Hi YouTube, this is the Peaceful Prepper. Last week, Docendo Dishima73, apologies, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering your name, but he did a video on his car EDC, especially his center console, which I've linked below the video. He has a great array of things in that little space that are useful for every day and for emergencies. He nicely gave a shout out to my video about my glove compartment. Thank you very much, Docendo. Hope that's okay to shorten your name like that. He also said he was curious about what other people kept in their center console. So this is a video response to Docendo. And even though this is called what's in my front seat, I'm not going to include anything that I keep in my glove compartment since I already did that video and I'll link it below. Also, this doesn't include emergency items that I keep in the back of my car. If you've seen other videos of mine, you, you know that I may be incapable of showing emergency or EDC, which means everyday carry supplies without going over some information about what purpose I want them to serve. So the items in my front seat are things that I want to be able to access quickly from the driver's seat. And I don't, they're things that I don't need to get out of the car to get them. And that's important if I don't think it would be safe to get out of the car because either because of traffic, I don't feel safe with the people around the car or the absence of people around the car, depending on the situation. And also there are convenient things that I use while driving. When I filmed this, I forgot to show my GPS slash hands-free hands -free phone speaker. Um, that lets me answer the phone while driving without fiddling around with my phone and taking my attention off the road. And after seeing Docendo's video, I've also added a pair of work gloves to my glove compartment so that I can grab them quickly if I need to do something to the car, but also they can protect my hands if I needed to extricate myself from the car after an accident. Here, <clears throat> here is my center console. Sorry for the juggling. And this, I actually don't keep jam-packed with things because anything that I want to put, you know, if I'm running in someplace and I have something like my phone or an iPod or something like that, I put it in here so it's out of sight. So in here I have, there's actually a USB drive and other connections, but there's one little 12 volt plug, sorry. And I have a little plug-in flashlight. Let's try to, with my gloves, that, oh, that I just keep plugged in so it's always charged. And then I just have various cords for things that typically are in my car with me. But where I keep most of the things that I want easy access in my front seat is not in the center console, but let's see if I can get around here and I don't know whether I'm going to, but I have a swing organizer that if someone's in the car with me, I can just swing it to the back seat. If not, it's right here. So in here, oh, I actually usually in this back part, I have a first aid kit that I keep there that when I was cleaning this up a little bit and organizing it, I took it upstairs to check and I forgot to bring it down. So, and I'll do a separate video on anything I have in a first aid kit. But in this, I have an umbrella, an empty water bottle. If I'm taking a trip of any length, I always bring, in fact, even just coming down here, I brought a bottle with some warm water because it's really cold today. Then I have a hat and gloves, which wouldn't necessarily be here in the summer, but I like having extras in the winter. I have, I'll actually take, I'll show you these in detail. They're sunglasses, but they have multiple lenses. Then I just have some tissues. I have a little coin purse. And then this is I guess it's kind of a shawl, but it's made of one of those sun protective 
materials that have an uh, SPF of 50 that I use just to keep myself from burning over my arm or over my leg if I'm in shorts for some sun protection. I'm also with my with some family history and my coloring I'm kind of concerned about skin cancer so I try to be protective of that. So I think that is and then in the pockets I'm not going to try to get that. I have a selection of maps in one pocket and then I just have a this is the one I have here in the winter because it's more heavy duty and really keeps you warm and dry and ice scraper but year round I keep a small one in here um, partly because we might get ice before I think to bring in my winter things so I have a little trash can to collect things and then I have this little pocket that I keep some paper, some wet ones, some pens, you know, things like that. This and the center console do tend to just fill up with receipts and various things, so that's what I cleaned out today in order to do the video. These are the extra glasses I keep in the swinging organizer in my front seat. And I thought I'd just quickly show them because there are sunglasses and this is the way I keep them but they have five lenses that are interchangeable. So I thought that was worth just pointing out. I really like these. They fit my face really well and they're very comfortable. So that's a very individual thing. And I, I haven't had any problems with them. When I looked at Amazon reviews, a lot of people had had problems with scratches on the lenses, but I haven't. So they have just clear, for safety glasses, they have a yellow lens, an orange lens, and a rosy lens. And when I'm driving, obviously, this is what I take. But if I was in a situation where I needed safety glasses, but I, I needed them to be clear that these were too dark, I could switch out. I've started using orange tinted glasses at night just around the house. I have a lot of experience insomnia quite a bit and these have been helping me. I guess they help the body, the various functions of the body, cue into the fact that it's dark because usually you're home and there are all kinds of lights on and your body doesn't get the sense that daylight is gone. So I've been using orange lenses for a couple of weeks. They're working for me so I, now, so I have these so if I'm traveling I can have all these different lenses as well. And they're interchangeable. Let me just show you. Every time I, I change them, I think it's going to break, but it never has. So I'll just show you quickly how they come in and out. So you snap these, just bend them, and it snaps out. You pull this just a little bit. And again, every time I do it, I think, oh, it's going to break, but it doesn't. And then you just sort of squiggle them out of the top part there. And that's what I do. And then they go in the reverse. So you snap. Oh, that didn't snap in. Hmm. I wonder why it's not. There it is. Snap in. Snap that in. Oh. Yeah, I don't do this so much that I've gotten really good at it, but hmm. What am I doing? There. Snap that in and snap these on. And then they're back. Every time you change them, you have to clean them again because there's no way to do it without, you know, sticking your fingers all over the lens. Thanks for watching. I'd love to see other video responses to Duchen. Decento's video about what you keep in your car. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be safe. Be happy.